Welcome to the WECS Daily News. Middle grade author Jean Zulik Ferullo spoke about her new book, A Galaxy of Sea Stars at an Unlikely Story. We spoke with her about her presentation. Hi, my name is uh, Jeannie Zulik Ferullo, and I'm a local author. I'm from Connecticut. Um, and I'm here at Unlikely Story in Plainfield, Mass., to talk about A Galaxy of Sea Stars, which is a, a story at, for middle grade readers. And it's about a girl, Izzy, who's kind of reluctant. Um, she's facing an awful lot of change in her life, and she's kind of reluctant to accept it. And she is befriended by another young lady named uh, Satara, who is a refugee from Afghanistan who, with her family, has moved upstairs from Izzy and her father and her grandmother. Through their relationship, they kind of learn to become brave. Um, Izzy is inspired a lot by Satara's courage and bravery and uh, she draws on that to find her own voice. I'd written another book called Ruby in the Sky um, and through my work with uh, IRIS, which is a refugee organization in Connecticut, I'd met a group of young refugee children and they read the book and have advised on it and have said to me that they want to see more books about with refugee characters and so together we kind of um, came up with the idea for a galaxy of sea stars and then I proceeded to work with a group of young women refugees from Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria. Uh, for over a year we met and they read the book and really what I wanted to hear from them is if they were able to go back in time to when they first came to the United States, what would they want to tell their peers that would have made their transition easier? And really the answer was overwhelming, uh, be kind. And so it's kind of the story of Izzy, who's reluctant to change, meeting a girl who's had to experience more change than any child should have to, and uh, being inspired from her bravery. One of the best parts about the book is it's set on the Rhode Island shoreline at a fictional town uh, called Seabury, Rhode Island, but it's inspired kind of the um, Charleston, Green Hill area, um, and there's a lot of scenes also on Block Island, so I think a lot of people who visit Rhode Island or live in Rhode Island um, will see a lot of familiar scenes in the story, which is a lot of fun. Uh, you can find the book anywhere. It's, it's uh, available, it debuted today, February 4th, and it is available everywhere. That's it for today's update. You can watch all of our content by visiting our website, doubleacs.com, by downloading the WACS mobile app, or if you have a Roku, you can search for the WACS Roku channel. For WACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.